Hello everyone. Today let's learn what is the difference between group frequency and ungrouped frequency data. Now suppose we want to analyze the math marks of 15 students in a class. So first what we have to do? Yes, we have to collect the data of math marks of 15 students. So here is the data. Now this initial data that we have collected is known as raw data or ungrouped data. Why is it raw data? That's because it is data in the purest form. We haven't done any processing on this data. It's also known as ungrouped data because we haven't done any grouping. We haven't put them into any groups. We can also find out what is the frequency of the individual marks. For example, I can say that there are two students who have got 50 marks. Say one student who has got 21 marks. So we can find out the frequency of each data value. Now the frequency distribution for this ungrouped data would look like this. As you can see, these are the marks, the tally and the frequency. Again, friends, did you observe that you can find out the frequency of the individual marks? See, there are two students who got 50 marks. There is one student who got eight marks. So even at this stage, the data that we are having is the raw data or the ungrouped data. Now this type of data is very suitable if we have small amount of data. But in real life, we have to deal with large amount of data. Maybe we have to analyze the math marks of thousands of students. Imagine creating frequency distribution of each of those marks. It's not only very tedious, but not much analysis can be done from the data. That's why the idea of bundling data into groups came into picture. So in this case, we choose convenient groups, say 0 to 10 marks, 10 to 20 marks, 20 to 30 marks and so on. And we make groups of the data. That's why this type of data is known as group data. Just compare friends, the frequency distribution of ungrouped data and group data. You will see in the marks column, here you had the individual marks, whereas here you have the group groups, see 0 to 10, 10 to 20, and they have the tally and the frequency. Now, how many students have scored between 0 to 20? Well, from the group data, immediately I can say that three students have scored between 0 to 20. But if I want to collect the same data from here, it will take more time. And that's why group data is very convenient for analysis because at one glance, you will come to know how the data is distributed. For example, there are six students who have scored between 40 to 50 marks. Whereas from this data, it's very difficult to find out the same information. Now, one disadvantage of group data is that you lose the individual marks, friends. Did you observe? There is one student who has got marks from 0 to 10. But what is that mark? That we no longer know in group data. Here, again, there are three students who have scored between 30 to 40. But what are those three individual marks, that information is totally lost. Whereas in ungrouped data, we have individual marks of each and every student. So friends, these are the main differences between ungrouped and grouped data. I hope that you found this video useful. If so, please do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to Enjoy Math and please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.